okay? And the moment we get into that, we have problems. We have tried to encourage ginger farming. We've tried to revive our ginger processing uh, industry because we have a state-owned enterprise to process ginger. And uh, we've tried to privatize it. So far, we have no takers. We've advertised it twice. Uh, but what we are trying to do uh, is to establish a Kaduna produce management marketing company to help farmers because our farmers know how to farm. The problem is from the farm gate to markets, that, that, you, you, you need a different level of expertise, a different kind of expertise. Now, some are saying let the government do that. What we are saying that the government is not the best to do that, so we've incorporated a company with major off-takers like Olam Flour Mills and uh, Stallion to be partners, to own 60% of this company, while we own 40%. And we are giving to this company the, our network of storage facilities right. so that they do the aggregation, you know, they buy the products. We can do price support, we can do certain things, but we cannot go into direct purchase and sales of okay. uh, agricultural commodities because I don't think we'll do it well. All right, we need to go to another break, but we'll, become, we'll come back and uh, wrap this up. Maybe something related to KD 3.0. Don't go away. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily Excellency. Let me talk about uh, something different, but it's also politics. Yeah. Uh, I see that you have a mix of young people, women who are doing things behind the scenes and even leading uh, different units and departments. What would you tell to young people? Because you see a lot of them who come to us and ask certain questions. They want to get into politics, but they are afraid of coming in and getting lost, as well as the money factor. Well, you know, I, 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 I think what I would say to young people, and I've said this over and over, is you don't have a choice. No matter how intimidating politics looks from the outside, you don't have a choice because the future is yours. And if you don't get involved, if you allow only the dregs of society to be in politics, then your country is not going to get better. This is part of the problem we have with politics in Nigeria, the fact that the brightest people are not in politics. The brightest people tend to work for banks, uh, for, uh, telecoms companies, oil companies, media, everyone that is bright and smart tends to keep away from politics. There is the fear that it is intimidating, you need money and so on. I don't agree. Okay? First, I think whether it is intimidating, whether you need money or not, you don't have a choice because it's your country, it's your future. And as Plato said more than 3,000 years ago, uh, the danger you face if you don't get involved in politics is that you'll be ruled by worse people. So you don't have a choice, so that's one. Secondly, it's not as difficult or as intimidating as it looks. If you step into politics, if you join a political party, if you're at the political table, you will find that you're perhaps the brightest voice in the room. You are the one with the ideas, you are the one with the knowledge, you are the one with the exposure, and the politicians will tend to give you space to do the work. They don't want to work. They want someone to do the work. They want to control patronage, they want to control power, but someone needs to get the job done. And you will, you can come in and make progress there. Many of us came into politics through techno technocracy. We were brought in and given a difficult job to do, and we did our best, and we kept getting more opportunities. So this is what I tell to young people. And here in Kaduna, we we've deliberately decided that we, for our agencies, for our parastatals, we are going to bring in young people will bring in as many from outside as possible and grow them in the system so that they will be the next generation of leaders. I am 58 years old. I do not intend to be around for long, but if I get 35 to 45 year olds and give them opportunities and grow them, then I know that Kaduna State's future is secure. So that's what we are doing. Uh, people say that you need money in politics. I don't think so. You, you don't need money to get in. You need money when you're running for office, but often, if people think you're going to win, the money will come, they will contribute. So my appeal to all young people is not to be intimidated, uh, not to think that there is no opportunity. Go in and try, precisely because you don't have a choice. In, in here in the northern part of the country, we have a problem of not enough women getting involved. And this is why here in Kaduna State, we have done 
a lot to push women to the forefront. My first chief of staff uh, was a woman. Today she's the managing director of Nigerian Ports Authority. Uh, our attorney general, the, the two we've had are women. We've tried to push women because we want young northern girls to see women in important positions and see the importance of education and getting involved. So my appeal, get involved. It is not as difficult as it appears. A fine place to anchor and uh, very interesting uh, having this conversation. Thank you for coming on this morning. We've been speaking with His Excellency Governor of Kaduna State, Nassau El Rafai. And we came to you live from Kaduna, venue of the Kaduna Investment Forum 3.0. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, but I don't know where <laughs> I'm Chamberlain. What's up? I'm Neota Igbe. I'm Ajuri Ngalali. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not necessarily reflect the views, opinions and endorsement of Channels Television.